I mean, we, we, we finally got off to a good start in the first period and we're able to continue to get better throughout the game. Um, so, it, uh, you know, it'll be a big game tomorrow night now. Uh, what'd you like about the start? Uh, well, we scored first. We, we haven't done that uh, recently, but we scored first. So that was good. And we were ready to go right from the start. I mean, uh, the only thing I was disappointed in the first is the amount of penalties we took, but um, you know, the guys were ready They They know it. They knew coming off the Merrimack game, we, uh, you know, we needed a better performance. So I was, I was happy with the effort and the battle level right from the start. To, and to be able to shut a team out like that and kind of dominate from start to finish, uh, you know, you talked pretty highly about UConn earlier in the week. What did you think you did well from, from puck drop to the, the final horn? Um, we got to their net. I thought we, uh, I thought we did a good job of killing penalties tonight uh, also. And I, and I thought, um, you know, we won a lot of races for pucks, which is they're a hard four checking team. So you got to win the races. And then ahead of tomorrow, uh, just being able to finish off a, a season sweep, especially kind of this late in the year, uh, you feel like the guys will come ready to ready to play? Well, I mean, you know, like uh, we'll approach that tomorrow. I mean, it's uh, – but it's certainly going to be a good hard-fought game. I know that, you know. Um, but, you know, we have, to, we have to learn from last week that we know it's not going to be easy tomorrow. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Nate. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Yep. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Yep. How are we doing? You want to just uh, comment on the game? Oh, yeah. It's a good hard fought game. I mean, good hockey East game. And, you know, it uh, sets up for a good game tomorrow. Uh, there was a lot of, a lot of big hits in the game. Was that, uh, that's as physical a game as I can remember in quite a while. What, what do you think? Yeah, it was, it was, that, that's, they finish every hit. They come after you. They finish every hit. You gotta, you gotta play fast against them. Um, or you're going to take a lot of hits, you know? So I thought we, I thought we got better at that as the game went on. Um, you know, certainly going in that small rink tomorrow, it'll be, I'm sure they're going to, you know, uh, try to bring a physical presence again, but, um, they're a big, heavy team, you know? Did you feel like, uh, you guys took too many penalties? Yeah, yeah, took too many penalties. <laughs> yeah, so we got to stay out of the box. They have a great power play, you know, one of the better power plays in the league, and they generate a lot from it. And you know, we knew that coming in the game, they they do a good job of of uh, on the power play, and so we got to be smarter. Certainly, um, you know, certainly our 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 second penalty wasn't a good penalty, so you know, we we got to. Got to make sure that uh, we stay out of the box. Uh, Parker Ford uh, did a lot of a lot of things right today. Uh, can you assess his game? Yeah, I mean it was his best game in a while. Him and Princey were really going. They had their motors going, um, you know. And and you know, Ford got probably you know three or four really good looks. So good to see him uh, playing like that. I thought he did a good job at the face off dot also. Um, but, you know, we, we need Fordo and Princey going uh, because they're two of our veteran guys that have played a lot of key minutes for us in the past. So, um, you know, when they're going, it, it really helps our depth. Now, you never want to lose a game uh, like you did to Merrimack the other day, but does a loss like that give you – maybe a little bit of a chance to reset going into a big series like this, this weekend. Yeah. I mean, you know, it was, you know, I, I can tell you, I had my growl on this week and um, you know, I was what I'm still, you know, very disappointed about that loss, you know, but um, you know, if, if it, if it helps you get better um, and it's really the focus, you know, the, the mental focus of the group, if it helps us refocus and, and get uh, dialed in, then, um, you know, we'll, we'll take the, the, the little positive out of that game. Thanks, Nate. Thanks, guys. Hang. Jerry, you got anything? Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, go uh, ahead. 
Okay, uh, Coach, a uh, quick question is, was your uh, team defense really shut down their top line? Uh, you know, Condalik and Evans, and first off, uh, for the first half of the game, you guys didn't give them uh, too many places to look at. Well, they're a good line. They're one of the best lines in the league. Um, I thought they did have some looks in the first, but I thought as the game went on, we did a little bit better job. Um, you know, and, and uh, I thought Jason O'Neill did a really good job against them. Um, you know, and if, if, if we're going to have sec success tomorrow, you know, we, uh, you know, we know that, that he's kind of leaks a good player. First off's a good player and uh, Evans, they're good players. So we have to, we have to be hard on them. Um, you know, we got to try to limit their touches as much as we can. Uh, certainly, uh, Tice getting that goal early really quickly set the uh, the pace for you guys. And again, uh, uh, follow up on Mark and said it was a physical game, and the physical hit really started that whole play. Yeah, you know, um, and I was proud. I mean, we know they're they're a physical team, um, and we had to push back, and and that was a good opportunity for us to push back, and um, you know, and obviously a big hit. We get the turnover and. Uh, Brett made a really nice play to Tice, who got it off quickly there. Uh, certainly, also, your penalty killing, very, very strong, and you really shut them down on the power play, really didn't give them the chance to get back in the game whatsoever. Yeah, and, you know, and they adjust a little bit through the game. We adjust a little bit through the game. Their, their first power play, I thought they had some really good looks. Um, it's a dangerous power play, you know, and, and as Mark said earlier, the big thing is, that we, you know, we just can't take penalties that, uh, we can't keep putting ourselves in that position because uh, it, it's a good power play. It's, you know, they're, they're hard on the face off dot. So they usually start, you know, we're starting with the puck and um, you know, it's, I thought our four check got better. And I thought our, actually our, our last two kills in the third period were, were probably our best two kills. Uh, your goaltender Jackson Stauber yeah, strong. Jerry. Yeah. What was that, Jerry? Uh, Jackson Stauber strong night in net for you guys did a good job at, you know, uh, playing a very economical game and uh, really didn't give up those, uh, those real second and third chances. Yeah, and our, and our D did a good job there. I think we, uh, you know, they were getting some point shots through early that we had to front and, and we're knocking some down. And, um, you know, it, it's just, uh, you know, maybe we had a little puck luck tonight. You know, our pucks went in and, and theirs didn't. But, you know, Jackson's been, you know, argu arguably our best player um, the past month. So, it's fun to watch his growth. Um, he keeps getting better. And, you know, it's, uh, I don't know how many shutouts he has this year, but, you know, I, he's got quite a few. And uh, for a first year goaltender, he's, he's having a terrific season.